So guys, I am back with another Outriders video. And today guys, I'm going to showcase to you all the legendaries we know of so far within the World Slayer DLC for Outriders. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so over the past couple of weeks, maybe three weeks now, uh, people can fly have teased new legendary weapons now there's five in total which we will check out today all come with that own incredible mod as we know as you also know guys which you will spot in the video uh, these weapons well i think yeah i think actually the majority of them do have three mod slots which is just a whole new level of customization uh, and what it can do it's going to be unbelievable i cannot wait Okay, so the five weapons we're going to start with the legendary ASR, the Vortex. And for people that don't know what ASR stands for, it's Automatic Sniper Rifle. Okay, so this thing looks pretty cool. It's not the best looking we've seen in Outriders, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it's mods, pretty incredible, which we'll see in action in a quick second. As you can see, Slashing Twister. Successful shots create a tornado that lasts eight seconds and deals so-and-so damage. I'm saying so-and-so because obviously this, this damage is, could be a placeholder, could scale. As you know, these things change. But yeah, it does so-and-so damage every 0.5 seconds. The effect gets larger over time. It's got a cooldown of six seconds, so looking pretty badass. And one thing you will notice about this as well, the clip you'll see on screen now, is the clip size. This thing has 36 in its clip, shooting at 400 rounds per minute. Not bad, not bad at all, people. Okay, so next up, guys, we have a legendary assault rifle, the Deathscape. This one comes with a super unique and amazing looking mod. Well, like, talking about super unique, look how badass this weapon looks. Now, this is what we're used to. This is what we're used to, guys, with Outriders. Their weapon and the design on them is just unbelievable. So the mod is called Stigmatized. Successful shots inflict toxic and a five second mark. Killing a marked enemy causes them to explode, dealing so and so damage in a 10 meter radius and applying the mark to enemies within the explosion radius with a 5 second cooldown. This looking absolutely incredible within green skulls. So cool guys, so cool. Next up, people, we have a legendary double gun called the Charred Lance. Again, looking unbelievable. Let's not lie to ourselves here. This one, guys, has a mod called the Death Ray. Aiming down sights, falls an anomaly beam that deals so and so damage on contact. Don't sound that fancy, but for damn sure, it looks fancy. Check this out. Check this out, guys. Next up, people, we have a legendary light machine gun, the Mythos, I believe that's pronounced. I'm probably wrong, I normally am. But wow, how amazing does this look? I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. They look amazing, guys. I'm going to keep saying they look amazing. This looks amazing. Wow. Badass. So this thing's mod, exclusive mod is called Omen. Shots launch a cover-piercing anomaly projectile that inflicts 
bleed deals so-and-so damage and applies a status that increases damage received by 30% for 3 seconds. Wow, with a 4 second cooldown. Jesus man, these mods and what, what we're going to be able to do with these mods and other weapons, pairing them together. I can't wait man, I can't wait people! Okay, so lastly guys, we have a legendary SMG called the Sunfall. This one looking decent. I like the orange glowy beamy thingies. They're looking pretty cool, I'm not going to lie, especially on the mag. But hey, either way, this machine gun, its mod is called Firestorm. Successful shots summon a homing firestorm that deals so and so damage and inflicts burn to enemies within its radius over 10 seconds. The radius of the firestorm increases with each successful shot on the affected target. This one though has a big cooldown of 15 seconds, but looking absolutely amazing in action, guys, for sure. But there we have it, people. Those are the five legendary weapons we know of so far that are coming with the world slayer dlc i didn't really want to bring you individual videos on these so i compiled them together but yeah i'm probably a little late for some of you outriders fans but hey i wanted an all-in-one spot we can see all these what has been showcased to us by people can fly well there we have you guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more outriders be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.